Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are solving fine belt matrix given row sum and column sum. In this problem, we are given two arrays, row sum and column sum of non-negative integers where row sum i is the sum of elements in the ith row and column sum j is the sum of all the elements in the jth column. So basically, we are not given the elements of a matrix but we are given the summation row wise and the column wise. Now we have to generate the matrix given these conditions. For example, the row sum is 3,8 and column sum is 4,7. So one of the possibility is uh, a matrix with these elements. So in this case, the sum of the first row is 3. The summation of the second row is 1 plus 7 that is 8. So it is satisfying the row sum condition. Similarly, the summation of first column is 3 plus 1, 4 and 0 plus 7. 7 so it is satisfying the column sum condition as well so we have to return one of such metrics as the answer so let us see how we can approach this problem it is an example here we are given the row sum as 5 7 10 and the column sum as 8 6 and 8 now what we can do is we have to generate a matrix of size 3 cross 3 here both row and column are 3 each so it is going to be our answer and we are starting from the very first cell with i as 0 and j as 0 so initially i is 0 and j is 0 so we know that the summation of the 0th row is 5 the summation of the 0th uh, column is 8 so in the very first cell what we can do is we can place the minimum of 5 and 8 why are we picking up the minimum we are picking it up as if we go with the uh, maximum of these two it is going to violate the condition so if we pick 8 for the very first cell the row sum the uh, row sum at minimum would be 8 because there is an 8 and all the elements are non negative so the row sum would become 8 and it would exceed 5 so there is no way to come back if we exceed a limit uh, because we have only positive integers or let's say non negative integers so that is why we are inserting 5 here because 5 is the minimum of both we could have uh, choose any integer smaller than 5 as well but we are going to go with the greedy strategy and we are picking up 5 so let us say we insert 5 to this cell now we are done with the summation of uh, this row now this 5 will become 0 so it was denoting it was i equal to 0 and it was denoting the summation of entire row now we cannot fill any element in the first row so these entries have to be 0 and that is why we will be incrementing i now i will be 1 and j will remain 0 but the summation of j as it already uh, have 5 in the 0th column so now only 3 is left so we are only left with 3 for the very first column now incremented i so we are here but again we are on the first column because we didn't uh, increment j there is still something that uh, could be inserted at j is equal to 0 and uh, that something is 3 but i is incremented now i is on 7 we are on the second row and the first column again now we will see the minimum of both of them the minimum is minimum of 7 comma 3 is 3 so this particular this particular cell is going to contain 3 now from the second row 3 is going to be reduced so 7 minus 3 is 4 will be left and here it will be 0 so we are done with the very first column 
we are done with the first column the summation is 8 here we were done with the first row the summation was 5 now we are done with the first column as well so we will increment j now j will be equal to 1 when j is 1 we are here and we are still on the same row because 4 is left for this particular row now in this cell it will be minimum of 4 comma 6 now j is here and the element is 6 minimum of 4 comma 6 is 4 so 4 will be inserted here now this will become 0 and this will be reduced by 4 so it will become 2 and as we are done with this row as well the summation for this row is already satisfied so we will be moving to the next row and for this row whatever entries are left we are going to insert 0 to those places now we are at the last row but we are again on the second column so we are on the second column because 2 is left at that place it will be 0 anyhow because we were done with the first column so we are at the second column 2 is left and we are at the last row this is our i so now i is equal to 2 and j is 1 now at this particular cell it will be minimum of 10 comma 2 and it is 2 so 2 will be inserted here now we are done with the second column as well it will be 0 now column will be incremented row will remain same but now 10 will be reduced by 2 because we already took 2 for the second column so 8 will be left here and we will be at this particular cell where j is 2 and column is 2 now we see the minimum of uh, these two so minimum of 8 comma 8 is 8 so 8 is going to be inserted here and it and the row sum will be reduced by 8 it will be 0 and the column sum will be reduced by 8 it will be 0 so both i and j will be incremented it will go out of range and we will be done with our solution so this is one of the possible answer we can verify this we can verify the row sum it is 5 the summation of the first row is 5 the second row is 3 plus 4 7 and the third row is 2 plus 8 10 so it is correct and for the column sum the summation of first column is 5 plus 3 8 4 plus 2 6 and 8 and it is also correct so this is how we can proceed with the solution and now let's look at the coding part before that we can discuss the space and the time complexity as well the space complexity is of course n comma m m comma n because we are generating the entire matrix if we ignore this then it will be a constant space solution and if you are including this it will be big o of m cross n now the time complexity is of course uh, yeah uh, because we are incrementing i or we are incrementing j at each position it will be m plus n big O of m plus n it will be the time complexity of the solution now let us try to code this I'm taking n as row sum and m as column sum and two variables i comma j while i is smaller than n and j is smaller than m in x is equal to minimum of row sum of i comma column sum of j now x is the element which we are going to insert at this position answer of i comma j is x 
and we are going to reduce x from the row sum as well as from the column sum row sum of i minus equal to x column sum of j minus equal to x if row sum of i is equal to 0 then i plus plus if column sum of j is equal to 0 then j plus plus finally return the answer and I'm going to create answer it will be a vector of vector of int of size n cross m and all the entries initially are 0 let us try to run this row sum dot size it is giving us correct answer for the first example let us try to submit and it got accepted so this is it for the solution if you like the video please subscribe to the channel there are a lot of playlists that I'm creating for medium hard and easy problems and uh, we are creating playlists company wise as well thank you